Okay, so in this diagram we have on find number item 5, item number 5 with part number A6420101891. This is the bleeder valve. This is the PCV, the positive crankcase ventilation valve. It's used to separate or help in the separation of the uh, gases which come from the crankcase and separate the oil uh, into tiny particles and introduce into the in inlet manifold and to the combustion chamber eventually that's where it goes uh, fresh air or at least uh, fresher air thing is this uh, PCV valve pressure control valve uh, it uh, gets brittle over time inside there's a diaphragm and also a spring uh, they also get worn over time and though these need to be changed around 16,000 kilometers uh, yeah or earlier depending on how you use your engine or vehicle and then you have um, on find number 20 and 25 and 30 some kits some components so the F find number 20 is a molded hose if you just need to change this one you just change it and this is the part number to order it by 6420160881 uh, if you need to change the um, find number 25 which is a sensor of a kind I think it measures temperature uh, some sort of a mass airflow sensor this is like some sort of a mass airflow sensor because in my opinion this uh, checks for temperature and probably also for volume of air which is being introduced from the PCV valve so this is very important to uh, have it in tip-top shape otherwise you'll get error codes never heard of anybody getting error codes on these type of sensors but hey you never know and then there's the grommet which is fine number 30 so the 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 molded hose I already told you the part number but the sensor itself 25 which also comes with a grommet itself is 6420160330 and um, uh, grommet is 6420940580 okay so the before the PCV valve so from the camshafts you get this cover this uh, radial seal cover it is uh, fine number 35 and this seal uh, comes with uh, the o-ring inside you cannot get it separate uh, it has the part number 6420100131 if you just need to change the sealing ring but if you if you take it out in my opinion it's worth changing it completely it comes with the o-ring from position 40 find number 40 which is A004997-5748 and also on the PCV valve if you ever need to change the uh, o-ring which is on FN15 I didn't uh, tick that so I don't have the part number number over here but it is what it is I also bought uh, some bolts which are from find number 45 these have uh, the following part number N9101430060001 uh, these are metric 6 uh, times 16 in, in length and then you have FN50 I don't know why these are 23 millimeter longs it, they should be 20 millimeter longs long um, fact is I ordered them but they didn't fit on my car so I used the, the existing ones now I'm gonna go and uh, talk about uh, the tightening torques on the um, air boxes so the air filter housing uh, to, to brackets they are torqued to 9 newton meters do not over torque them you, you will easily break the the threads inside the the engine and you, then you have to retap them and it's a pity it's a, a very time-consuming process so the OM642 has 9 newton meters 
if we are talking about the OM642.970 then you can torque them to 14 newton meters the bolt connecting air filter housing to cylinder head cover will be at 14 newton meters then the clamp which holds the clean air line to turbocharger uh, to the air filter box is torqued to 3 newton meters I screw it by hand and I do not uh, go with so so small torque values because you will feel by hand that they are tight enough okay the furthermore we still need to talk about the torques so we do need to talk about the the oil separator to bleed valve to cylinder head cover um, we torque them at 14 newton meters so basically if we go back to the uh, find number five in the first uh, diagram we are going to talk about uh, the three screws which keep the PCV valve to the engine block they need to be torqued at 14 newton meters whereas the cover with the radial sing seal they need to be torqued at 9 newton meters I didn't manage to fit the torque wrench back there because uh, the height of the socket with the torque wrench was too great because I did I did have to use an adapter and I couldn't uh, fit it but if you can fit a, a, sp a, a torque wrench then you need to torque them to 9 newton meters uh, now I think this covers everything uh, yes now you can start enjoying the the video hello guys this is Alexander Izar and today we are going to remove together and install together the cap with the radial shaft seal on the front of the PCV valve so basically what happens is over time uh, this seal uh, gets old and gets brittle and doesn't seal up uh, well anymore and it will let uh, oil vapors and a lot of blow by to go inside the, your uh, uh, PCV valve and then go into the what's it called the, the intake manifold the turbocharger and um, push it right into the head of the piston to be burned and uh, this is not good for the DPF because it will get clogged up faster than it needs to be getting clogged up without any further ado let's get started in uh, working up this so remove the engine cover You have these tabs. I will show you how to mount it properly. You have the intake manifold over here, yeah. And uh, we need to take this off and take this screw off. And there's one more screw. I don't know if it's visible, it's somewhere around there. Let's get popping. E10 torques. You do not need to pull out all the way this screw over here because it, it will stay in place. If you pull it out, you will pull it out together with this spacer. Yeah, so now the only thing to do is unscrew this.
I see there's a lot of oil over there. The gas tube is still in good shape and doesn't need to be changed because I replaced it 5,000 kilometers ago, so it's in good shape. Oh, I will show you exactly what's it all about. This cap, you see, it has the screw on the right side and the screw on the left side. We're, gonna, we're about to take it off. In the end procedure, uh, I do need to mention that I will be using uh, what's it called a torque wrench and also for easier access and avoid stripping other bolts and stuff I'm going to be using this E10 smaller socket it's a quarter I think or it's a 3 8 doesn't matter I have adapters and I will be uh, doing this properly it's E10 This is how it looks like. What you can do is take the mirror and look behind. There should be no no shavings left, no nothing. All clean. This is what we should be looking at. Okay? Check that all, all the area is clean. I will be applying some grease to this gasket over here and to this side so I can swivel it in easily. You see the grease has been applied let's say almost evenly now I'm gonna pull it over the gasket doesn't need to be in excess just needs to be a little bit so it can enter properly the area and tighten it and for good measure I'm going to install new screws even though the old ones are perfect didn't know what would be the what's it called the state of health for the old screws so I went and bought new ones Ok, 
careful to start the thread and do it up till close to the end by hand and if you see or feel any resistance at all then you need to clean the thread or in worst case re-tap the thread mine went in very well and basically let's see if I can fit the torque wrench inside though it's a bit big don't know if I can fit it you can see what I don't know if it's visible or not but now the torque wrench is set to 9 newton meters the torque wrench did not fit inside the E10 wrench was used because it's small and it's easier to access the bolt regardless if you do not uh, use the torque wrench please do the tightening until uh, it's finger tight and afterwards gently apply tension to the small wrench because it can the, the threads can break very easily you can tighten those two bolts by hand if careful You know that it is seated well and one here, one here, another one here. And that's it. Job done. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe this video with your friends and leave a thumbs up if you liked it.